Uh, today we're looking at a Stag Arms uh, left-handed AR-15. Uh, you might notice a little, some of the things are swapped over to the left side of the receivers, uh, specifically for left-handed shooters. If you take a look at this, instead of the forward assist normally being on the right side right here, they've swapped it over to the left side. Uh, the ejection port is now over here. Uh, the ejection port cover is actually uh, upside down on the stag. Not real sure uh, why they designed it that way. I guess it has to clear the uh, bolt release and bolt stop there. Uh, kind of an odd design the way they do that though. couple other features it comes with the uh, Samson uh, quad rail that's on there free float design that bolts around the uh, barrel nut they give you a couple different sling swivels here the factory one on the bottom and a side mounted one for a left hander to go into a like a two or a three point tactical sling uh, they do give you a left handed only safety on here if you look at the other side the levers usually here they put it on this side so as a left-hander you can manipulate it with your thumb right there. Uh, one thing, they don't give you an ambidextrous charging handle on this one and with flipping the forward assist over to the left side makes it a little awkward to grab that latch right there to, to operate the charging handle. Whereas if you were to look at a standard right-handed stag it's all smooth here, so it's good to come up and grab that and release it or come over with your weak hand and sweep the side, however you operate that. Uh, standard 16-inch barrel, M4 cutout, A2 flash hider, uh, fixed A2 front sight with a bayonet lug on it. The whole lower receiver half is uh, pretty much standard just like all their right-handed models, except for that safety we mentioned on there. Would have been kind of nice to come with an ambidextrous safety. That way everybody that's used to using a safety on this side would still be able to manipulate it the same way. Uh, it comes with an ARMS 40L flip up rear sight. Let's flip this little lever right here, and the sight flips up and deploys. Uh, it's got some different apertures in there those fold down out of the way but then you can't fold the sight back with that one deployed like that just make sure that's up flip that up push it back flip that over the top and then it holds it in place standard collapsible m4 style stock on it uh, they did do some staking for the castle nut so that actually seems pretty decent coming out of the factory does have a mil spec uh, receiver extension and uh, that is the stag arms uh, left-handed AR all right we'll take a look at some of the internals here on this left-handed stag AR Off, you'll notice the complete carrier here is uh, like a mirror image of a standard right-handed carrier they even mark on it left-handed here so you know the difference uh, the little notches here for the forward assist to hit on are on the left side as opposed to the right side uh, instead of the bolt rotating backwards for the pin uh, the cam pin rotates to the right side and then the little holes here to oil for the bolts are on the left side instead of over here a few pull it apart right here if you pull the bolt assembly out as you can see on here you can see the staking job they did from the factory to keep the screws from backing out there fully enclosed around the firing pin alright looking at the internals of this left-handed stag AR here uh, if you compare them to a right-handed carrier, first thing you'll notice is these ridges on the outside for the Ford Assist to bite onto are on the right side of a right-handed carrier, and they've machined it 
kind of on the opposite side for the left-handed version. It's kind of a, a mirror image here. If you can take a look at the two carriers here. They pretty much swapped everything there is on it. The portion of the cam pin hole, how the cotter pin goes in from the opposite sides there. Uh, and the bolt is, if you're looking at the bolt, if you pulled it out and we're just eyeballing it, it would look like a standard right-handed bolt, but if you actually compare it to a right-handed bolt here, if you were to flip it around for the left-handed one, the cam pin actually wouldn't go into it because it's got a slight taper to it. So on the left-handed one, it would drop in just like that. If you were to flip the left-handed one around to a right-handed gun, it wouldn't assemble. So you would definitely know you had an issue when you went to reassemble them if you had a right-handed bolt and a left-handed carrier. Uh, other than that, I mean, everything's about the same. They do the same gas keys, staking on the uh, screws there to keep them from coming loose on you. They don't counter stake them from the factory, but that's something you can just throw a Moax staker on there and give them a good counter stake so they won't vibrate loose on you.